In this video lecture series, we're going to be going over economics and just a lot of the necessary topics you'll need to know to either take a microeconomics or macroeconomics exam, whether it's AP, an introductory college course, etc. And to kind of begin, we're going to define what economics is. And just in a very simple sense, economics is the study of how people make choices. So again, economics is the study of how people make choices. And there's a lot of different ways they kind of break up this decision making in the economic world. A lot of people think when they hear economics, they think, well, they must be talking about business, uh, finance, money, etc. Um, but that's not necessarily what economics is always about. So there are a lot of, you know, relations to the financial markets and all that. But economics is really an application of psychology and mathematics and philosophy and a lot of other different topics. And kind of the core question that economists try to solve is this problem of scarcity. And scarcity is this problem of satisfying. So the problem is we try to satisfy uh, our unlimited human wants with limited resources. Unlimited human wants and with limited resources. So what do I mean by this? So I'm going to just do a quick example. Let's say that we're a kid. It's Christmas morning. We have a white Christmas. Snow is falling down. It's pretty much every holiday movie's, you know, perfect setup. But we get out there and the snow is really not as not as thick as we hoped. It's really wet, so it can melt right away. So we only have enough snow to make two snowballs. Well, we're a kid on Christmas. Of course, we want as much snow as possible because we want to build the biggest snowman we can imagine. So here's my attempt at drawing a snowman. I apologize. I am not studying art by any means necessary. So I'm just going to draw him a little face and a draw a little hat and we'll call our snowman good. So we're trying to create this huge snowman, possibly the biggest snowman that's ever been created. But we only have enough snow to make two snowballs. So we can't even use these two snowballs to make one snowman unless we break it up and settle for a much, much smaller snowman. And that's kind of the a very brief introduction to this concept of scarcity. So scarcity, again, is satisfying our unlimited human wants with limited resources. And this um, reflects, this is also really applicable to things a lot more important than snowballs and snowmen. This comes from money, um, natural resources. Um, so like trees, lumber, paper, etc., oil. So our human wants, we want as much you know, resources as possible. We want to build structures. We want to power our cars, our houses, etc. But the reality of the, situ of the situation is that we just don't have enough resources to satisfy all the wants in the world. So we have a lot of food in the world naturally, but we still have people that are hungry or starving because we have a food crisis because we have limited resources to devote to food. Ideally, we want to build as many structures as we can. We want to keep using oil for as long as we can until we have renewable energy. But the reality of the situation is that oil reserves are running out because they're a limited resource. So this just briefly describes what scarcity is. And in the next lecture, we're going to be talking how we can apply this concept of scarcity to opportunity cost.